talk to you today about the five things you need to do to get ready for a data breach. First, get a plan. Second, practice it. Third, know your data. Fourth, know your vendors. And fifth, consider your insurance. Every enterprise should have an incident response plan. It's a very basic plan. It does several things. First, it identifies the key players. Think of your C-suite. These are the key individuals that will represent the company in the event of a data breach. It goes IT, legal, possibly HR, external relations, risk management. Get those functions identified. Second, specifically identify which individuals will have ultimate responsibility for each of those functions. Understand when they can delegate and when they have to escalate. Third, decide what the protocols are. What constitutes an incident? Typically, if someone's trying to get into your network and network incursion. What constitutes a breach? When someone gets data out of your network. When do you escalate? When do you tell the CEO? When do you tell law enforcement? When do you tell the media? All of these things are fairly self-evident, but if you don't have them written down, in advance, it's a real scramble to try to get them straight. Second thing you need to do is practice the plan. The most basic form of practice is what's called a tabletop exercise, typically people in a conference room going through a mock breach facilitated by an outside vendor. And sometimes the CEO, him or herself, will actually sit in on this tabletop exercise. Ultimately, as a company matures in its ability to respond to data breaches, you're gonna have real life scenarios. That's when you'll have the C-suite actually present in the room. It will be a bet the company situation where you have to act, act quickly and act knowledgeably. So your incident response plan and its practice are key. What's the third thing you need to do? Know your data. Most companies actually don't know what data they get, where they put it, who has access to it. Identify all of these basic steps, basic functions, so you know what it is you're getting, why you're getting it, why you're keeping it. Second piece of this is who has access to that data? If you don't know which level of data you're looking at, how it's, what, whether it's confidential, whether it's sensitive, you have to know the classification of the data to understand who should have access to that data. Next step would be know your vendors. Each of your vendors is potentially your weakest link as a company. They have your data, they have access to your data. Do you know, for example, what their security measures are? What are your contracts with these vendors? Who's responsible for maintaining the security of your data? That's an important function to understand and most enterprises really delegate this so there's no uniformity. So a key thing on understanding your vendors is not only who has access to your data, but what's the allocation of responsibility and liability. The final thing I'd like to talk about is understanding your insurance. What insurance do you have? What insurance do you need? Someone needs to be able to understand exactly the exposure, the risk you face, what kinds of coverage you will have to address that risk. And then lastly, what are the exclusions? What do you get at the end of the day in your insurance coverage? Many people don't understand that you may have coverage, but who controls the response to the event in light of that coverage? Some insurance companies will say, we will take charge, thank you very much. Consider carefully how much you, authority you want to cede to those insurance companies before you d decide how you're going to address that. If you take these five steps to prepare for a breach, it will take not just hours, probably not just days, but it will take weeks. But in the end, if you have a breach, and the probability is you will, it will save an enormous amount of time, resources, and ultimately the reputation of the company.